Hello and welcome to the 23rd in my series, Proverbially Speaking, Reflections on Verses from the Book of Proverbs. If you enjoy this, please consider hitting the like button at the bottom. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page and you'll be alerted to other content such as our Sunday morning live streams of our adult Bible study and our Sunday morning worship service. And at 6 p.m. on Sunday nights, we have another worship service for the evening service, which includes our pastor, Mark. So before I begin, let me begin as I usually do with a prayer. Our loving and kind Father, I thank you for the grace that you bestow upon your children. Bless me now that my thoughts may be pleasing and acceptable to you. It is in your name that I pray. Amen. So speaking of children, there are three verses that I picked this week that uh, are from the book of Proverbs and regards children. And the first one is um, from Pro Proverbs 22, verse 6, which reads, Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Proverbs 29, verse 17 reads, Discipline your children, and they will give you peace. They will bring you the delights you desire. And Proverbs 19, verse 18 reads, Discipline your children, for in that there is hope. Do not be a willing party to their death. So these verses obviously all are about raising children and the use of discipline. We unfortunately are in a modern society where we hear a lot of negative comments regarding the idea of discipline. I don't want to get political or rather the idea of political correctness, but we live here in the United States in a very permissive culture. I'm doing this video right after the Christmas holiday where children had wished for gifts and families spent overly generous amounts of money to shower them with these gifts. We concern ourselves with pleasing our children, with entertaining them. We think poorly upon the idea of discipline as though it is only to scold, to deny, to reprimand a child. The word discipline in the dictionary actually means to train someone to obey rules. There is another word associated negatively with our society, the word obey. In our Sunday morning adult classes currently, we are studying the book Muscle and a Shovel about a man's journey to understand the Church of Christ led by a man that he names in the book Randall. And the first real lesson he receives in this book is when Randall tells him that it is important for him to obey the gospel. Uh, he doesn't understand too much on the gospel and knows it's a book in the Bible and he can't wrap his head around the idea of obeying a book and the idea of obedience just seems foreign in, in his uh, rise through the ranks culture that he's being a part of at the current world. Discipline, obedience. If children learn this from us early on, they have the tools to follow the correct path, to understand how to truly move forward and experience joy. They are not negative things. They set limits and they set parameters that a child can follow. And someday when they understand truly what God is and understand the importance of obedience to him, you will, as being leaders to guide them to this path, will be a party not to their death, but to their eternal salvation. I hope these words have been helpful to you in your journey, and I hope you will watch me next time. Thank you for watching.